We have team coverage for you tonight, including how the Bay Area could play a role in helping identify the victims in Surfside. But we begin with Eight on Your Side investigator Masa Saidi. And Masa, you spoke with a state senator who says following this tragedy, building inspection changes are imminent. That is exactly right, Jen. Right now, we are actually on the lower level of a multi story building. Periodically, we know that our elevators are inspected. Fire marshals also look for potential fire hazards. But no one is routinely checking the structure of this building or, in fact, any other building in the Bay Area. That could soon change. The Surfside condo collapsed the same year it was due for its 40-year inspection. Tonight, Miami-Dade's 40-year recertification process is not required or conducted in the Bay Area. In fact, there's no requirement to routinely inspect, test, or certify any of our buildings. But we've got plenty of high rises on the coast, including in Pinellas County, part of State Senator Jeff Brandis' district. Unfortunately, that's where most of our high rise buildings are. You're going to see a heightened scrutiny on these types of buildings going forward. Do you support an audit of older buildings? We're going to work with the engineers, we're going to work with the uh, architects, and we're going to work with the, the residents to determine what the best pathway going forward is. There are 625 high-rise structures in Pinellas County alone. Aid on Your Side has learned building permits have been issued since the early 50s. The Senator is, Brandis is, says is change is imminent. The inspection process will be updated whether by law or the governor's executive order. Lives have been shattered irrevocably as a result of this. If you see signs of decay in your building, contact your association, property manager or city county building officials. Meantime, Senator Brandis is urging local associations to work with engineers and ensure buildings meet current standards. We're deeply, deeply sad about what occurred. Uh, what were the actions of the condo board? What did they know and when did they know it? The big questions right there. Now, tonight we have learned that State Senator Jason Pizzo, whose district includes Surfside, is actively working on legislation. Senator Brandis says that it just makes sense to let lawmakers, Jen, close to the tragedy, take the lead on this. Sure, that does make sense. But do we know what changes could be coming? I mean, which buildings will be inspected? How frequently? So I can tell you that right now lawmakers are looking into what's being done in other states, regions, and countries. And it would make sense to start by focusing on those older high-rises by the coastline. We don't know if moving forward officials would just do visual inspections or whether they would decide that it's time to use high-tech tools to really look beneath the surface to look at the foundation. I think it sounds like a story we should stay on. Masa Saidi, live in the Tampa News Center for us. Thank you, Masa.